Welcome to the Yukon Artists at Work Gallery. I'm Janet Patterson. From July 25th to 28th of this year, Yukon Artists at Work hosted an En Plein Air Festival. There were 12 artists working along the riverfront in Whitehorse, using that area as inspiration to create art. And this show, which is on throughout the month of August, is the result of that week of work. So let's take a look. These two pieces are by Alia Graham. She's a dancer and a choreographer, and she created these costumes for a piece, a dance piece that she created. Really looking forward to seeing the dancers actually wearing these and dancing in them. And the materials are very simple. It's uh, duct tape, and wire. It's amazing what beauty you can create with simple, simple items. Catherine J. Monroe is a haiga artist. She combines haiku poetry with images that she's taken. This is a dry dock, dreaming of drifting with the clouds. Trolls under the bridge, echoes of screaming children. Amy Ellis works in glass. She's created a number of fused glass pieces. This one is called Warm Summer. This one is showing the little wooden house that is in Rotary Peace Park that has the marigolds growing on the roof. Amy has also created some very whimsical little bugs. <laughs> Michelle Melvin uses all kinds of things for her art, fabric, uh, oil. In this case, these are oil paintings. And she's focused on the SS Klondike boat. And I'm amazed that she's been able to get such a level of detail knowing that she only had one day each to produce these pieces. It's remarkable, really. Linda Leon works in a number of different uh, media as well. These are oil paintings. Look at the movement that she's, able, she's been able to achieve here. And this is the Riverdale Bridge. And then Maya Rosenberg also chose to paint the bridge. So here is her rendition. These are in acrylics. And here's her other works that she was able to produce. Cloudy Day, Yukon River in the Summer, and Stormy River. These pieces are mine, and the inspiration came from thinking about what could be hidden below the Yukon River or on the bottom of the Yukon River. Sometimes quite fantastical, for instance, this is my version of the creature from the Black Lagoon riding a giant squid and there's a skull hiding there. This one, a whale has smashed an old ship. And on a much more somber note, this pays tribute to those who have lost their lives in the Yukon River over the years. Jose Carboneau works with fish skin. Here she is with a, a piece of embroidery and fish skin. Here's a little pouch she's made. And some beautiful fish skin bowls with beading. Francoise Laroche chose to work in pine needles with linen thread to make these lovely baskets and Heather Hyatt's work always amazing here she's worked in silver point and colored pencil to produce these pieces here's another one of Catherine J Monroe's works Walking Meditation, The Blues of Water and Sky. 
These watercolors are by Lillian Lopinen. She's so great at producing mood. And these are just gorgeous. Yukon River Touch, Yukon River Reflections, Yukon Delight, and Morning Mist. And finally, Ava P. Crystal has chosen to work in graphite and colored pencil for these pieces. And she's thought about a time in the future when nature has reclaimed things that have been touched by humans. In this case, the sculpture on the waterfront done by Ken Anderson, the old railway track, and the SS Klondike. As I mentioned, this show is on throughout the month of August and most of the pieces are for sale. We hope that you are able to come by and see these in person.